Hello everyone, welcome back with uh, SketchUp Basic 3D House Modeling for exercise number one. Okay, first you need I will use a template in millimeter and you can delete uh, this uh, default icon. The next uh, we can use uh, these tools to create um, measure my tools. I will click up from this point into here and click again from this point into this point. The next you can click from this point into here and we can set in to 4000 from this point to here you can set it to 5000 okay you can use a rectangle tools to create a rectangle from this point into here and then i will use a pull tools you can extrude uh, these uh, rectangles i will set it to 100 for extrusion the next use offset command you can click this icon for offset select at this face okay you can move into here and i will set offset into 150 you can press enter the next use pull again we can pull uh, this face to the top we can set into 2500 okay we create uh, this uh, simple room the next you can uh, double click this object uh, triple click and right click i will change into macro now in here we can set into a left view like this and then we can create line will create line stuff from this point in blue axis to the top we can set for length into 600 and you can click at this point connect into this point the next so we can use a pull again we can extrude at this face into here and now in here i will uh, double click a uh, triple click and make group again you can click here to make group now I will hide uh, this object, you can right click and you can click hide. We can create a rectangle, okay, start from this point into here. The next I will create a rectangle again from uh, front view, okay, I will can create a rectangle in here. In uh, this uh, axis, okay, in uh, green axis. And now we can use sweep tools, you can select cut this space, click uh, sweep tools. Let's already follow me, click here, and you can select at uh, this shape, so to be quite a sweep in here, so with uh, follow me tools. Okay, the next, so we can uh, click again, so this object, you can triple click, right click, and you can make a group of these objects. You can copy this object by using move tools, okay, this move tools, I will click from this point. You can uh, press control button to copy and I will click in uh, this point. Okay, right, uh, the simple models. Now in here we can change into left view again in here. I will show and hide object. You can click edit, click and hide and click all. So it will be show. In here we can create a line. I will create line start from this point, move into here. You can set into 600. Okay, uh, sorry, in here we can set into green axis or into purple axis. In here for purple axis. You can see, we can set into 600. Move to the top uh, 200 in a blue axis. Okay. We can create again in uh, this point. You can use the line tools from uh, this point. In uh, this purple axis, you can set into 600 to the top in blue axis 200. And then you can connect into this point. Okay, we can close. And now in here, uh, we can connect first. We need to connect from this point into here. And then we can use pull tools to pull this object into this point the next we pull again from this point into here we can set into 600 and then in here we can set into 600 okay you can uh, triple click and we can make group okay i will edit uh, this object you can uh, double click and now in here we can use offset tools click in here offset tools you can move into here Okay, this enough, and then you can use uh, this uh, pull tools to pull this surface to the top. 
and also in here into this point. Okay, you can see. The next, so we can create door in here. Uh, but first, in here, I will hide uh, this object. You can select, right click, and you can hide. We can create a rectangle uh, in here. You can double click again. And now I will edit with uh, these tools. You can create a measurement tools from this point into here. We set into 150. And then from this point to the top, we can set into 100. Okay. Now in here we can create a rectangle stuff from this points. I will move into here. And then you can use these tools, pull, click at uh, this face, move to the top until you see at uh, this point and you can release so it will be quite all. It will be quite all. Now I will insert door into this uh, models. You can click file. You can get models download in uh, below description. Okay, I will use import. And in it we can set for door. I will use uh, this door. Click open, import, and click at this point. The next I will move from this point, middle point. Okay, you can move into this uh, middle point in here. Okay. Now to edit the walls, you can uh, double click again in uh, this uh, object in uh, pull tools we can select from this point into here and then the top you can click from this point into this point okay you can uh, click offset to close the next we can create a simple windows we can double click again in here and now we can use uh, this tool I will set for this time in here we can set into 200 okay now from this point to the top here the next we can create a rectangle we can create hole again in here and then you can use uh, pull tools click at this point and put the top here okay it will create holes next we can insert for door objects import and i will use uh, this door Click import and now I will click at this point. The next we can use a rotate domain. You can click here, rotate. I will click from this blue axis, move into here. The next we can rotate into 180 degree. And now you can use move tools. We can move from this middle point. Okay, you can move again into this point. The next we can set for wall. So you can uh, double click in uh, this object. Use pull tools. I will set from this point into here. And then from uh, this point you can click and click at this point. Okay. You can click offset to close. Now we already create our windows and doors and also this for roof. You also can create again in here. Like I will uh, unhide first. You can click here, unhide, click all. So it will be unhide and in here we can create a rectangle. But first I will edit uh, this object. Okay, we can use uh, line tools or uh, rectangle tools in here. We can create rectangle from this point into here. And then I will use a pull tools to extrude to the bottom here. We can cut, so it will be automatically cut. And then you can see. Next, we can uh, sorry, in here I will move into this point, or you can set into hundred. Okay, and now from this point into this point. Next, you can use uh, erase tools. You can erase this line, also at this point. Okay, you can click offset to close. Now in here, uh, we can uh, pull again uh, in it. Okay, you can set uh, extra tools. I will pull at uh, this face to the top here. Okay, use uh, erase tools to erase in it. 
and also at this point so it will be okay now in here we can provide for floor we can use uh, rectangle tools from this point okay i will move into here we can click and then we can use uh, extrude tools or pull tools we pull uh, these objects into this point and now from this point into here okay we done it's okay the next so we can in here i will use move tools to move uh, these objects to the top Okay, we can move into 100 in blue axis. Okay, this is enough. And the next, in here we can, uh, we'll add the light part uh, these objects. Then we can create new wall, uh, floor from uh, this point. Okay, into this point. And now we can extrude to the top. We can set into 100. It's okay. The next from this point into here. And then you can select from this point into this point. Okay. In here we can edit. So we edit again at this point. Don't forget to select west to edit this object. Okay. You can use rectangle tools. I will create from this point into here. And then you can... Uh, cut at this space okay in this space we can cut to the bottom so to be automatically cut and now for uh, this object you can press delete button okay you can also select up this space and press delete button next we can use uh, erase tools erase tool to erase uh, this line object in it Okay, the next we can pull this space into this point. Now you can click outside to see. Okay, you also can erase uh, this line object and our in here. Click outside again. So we create uh, in here like this. The next I will uh, extrude at this space. You can double click. And then I will use extrude tools to extrude into this point. The next we can create a rectangle at this face. We can use uh, this tool. First we can create measurement to this point 150. And from this point into here we can set into 150. Again at this point to this point in uh, right axis 150. Use a uh, rectangle tools to create a rectangle from this point into here. Okay, we create again rectangle from this point into this point. The next, you can use pull tools. We can extrude into here again from this point into this point. Now you can see, and then you can click outside to close. You also can delete this all reference. You can click file or edit. You can click here, delete guides. So it will be automatically delete the guides. Now, if you want to set materials, you can use uh, material tools. Okay, in here you can click on material component in here. Okay, you can set material like we can set into wood or the other materials like in here like you can click and change into this wood click so it will be automatically apply what uh, materials or you can set for these objects okay we can double click and then i will set for color okay, another color like we can set into gray so this for gray and i will click in here so it will be automatically changed we also can edit in here Okay, we can set into orange. Okay, I will use uh, this orange. Click at this object. Okay, click again in here. 
or you can select uh, these objects it will be automatically select all okay you also can select image and you set this object okay you can see it will be automatically applied in the top here you also can select and apply again next uh, we can set for another in here we will use this in model select these objects and use uh, this color okay now in uh, this face you also can select by uh, using uh, this color gray in this point and also in the back here okay now we already create this uh, simple 3d model for uh, exercise number one with the uh, sketchup software and if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video